Moving on to the next bouquet we're working with today is something really kind of fun and non-traditional. In this bouquet, we're not going to do the traditional mix, how we just make it like it's a garden style. We're going to do color blocking. You'll see strong impacts of color throughout the whole bouquet. So today we're going to be using equisetum. This is also called snake grass. The next one is called gigantic ilium. I call it alium, I guess because I'm from the south. Many cow lilies, and I call this abergine or an eggplant color basically. We have Gerber daisies and a really bright, beautiful orange. The next thing are roses, which are called a new variety called Free Spirit. It's really a gorgeous rose. It almost looks like it's an old Tommy Garden rose. And actually, if you want to make it more garden style or more vintage, you would just pull those back like this. And then I like to do a little bit of a trick where I go back and actually do a little bit of a twist in the middle and turns it into a beautiful garden rose. We also have kale. Yes, that's kale, like cabbage out of the garden. And then pincushion protea for a little bit of great texture. So we're going to take our, our allium, our allium first. And we're going to take a really, these really cool kale. We're going to take the foliage off the bottom because that's just going to get in the way when we start doing insertions. To there. And put that one over into there. And you might even take one more just to offset it so it looks a little bit non-traditional. And we're going to insert that one a little bit lower. Now we'll go back with our roses. And we're going to put two here. You want to angle the stem that way. And we're going to take two more here into there that way. And then we're going to do three right in here. To The reason why I do that is because we always want to keep a little bit different edge. So now we'll go back. While we can, it'd be easier to take these calla lilies and do those as well. And we're going to keep these in groups of twos and threes as well. And we're going to pull these up just a little bit. Another thing to consider with the, with the color being this intense and this dark, if you insert them too deep into the bouquet and in photography, it's going to look like black holes. So if we pull them out, they'll have a little bit more visual presence. Now we're going to go back and add a little bit of spice to the bouquet with our Gerber daisies into that, there, there, like that. How's that looking right now? Kind of fun. So we're going to go ahead and tape this off and that way we can kind of keep everything together. Now to finish it off, we'll go back with a couple of these really cool pincushion protea, just for a little bit of texture on top of everything else. So it gives a little bit of a twist out of the norm. And just to give it a little bit different twist, we're going to go back and make a collar of equisetum. As you take it like this, you insert it, and then you just break it and twist it all the way around. Once again, into the middle, and insert it there. And don't get too concerned about the actual shape of the equisetum so until the end, then we can go back and actually shape it the way we want it to be. And then one more into there. So when you finish, you just take these and you spread them out. It makes for a fun, little bit more unusual design verging on contemporary or very artistic. This would be a bouquet that someone that was a very artsy person would love. It almost has a feeling of sculpture to it. Now we're going to go back and cut the stems out. Especially you want to cut the allium stems or allium stems out because they're really thick and they're really heavy. And nothing worse than a really heavy bouquet. Brides are already nervous enough without having to carry 20 pounds of flowers. And then and instead of using an actual, any ribbon on this bouquet, I'm going to take a tea leaf like this. I'm going to take it like that and I'm going to band the base of the bouquet with an actual fresh tea leaf instead of ribbon. You either can take, take, you can take copper tubing and wrap around it as well. Just for today though, I'm just going to pin it real quick with a corsage pin. And there you have it. Something fun, great color, 
great impact of color with a little bit of a contemporary twist.